Hey guys, Shreds here from Legacy Division, and first off, I want to apologize for the delay. So I know it's been like about a week. Been really busy. A few things going on. Laid down those bows, both of them are down, and we did match up with Mini WHF. It was a range war, but we decided to go the normal route and not do a friendly war, so this is an actual war for loot. This is going to be pretty interesting, and yours truly is in the war, so be excited for that. But, today's a war recap, and on a sad note, Lennit, our primary base designer, I guess I'm like number two, but I'll be not, I'm kind of just trying to follow his footsteps, I guess. But Lennit has left us for UK Weekend War, which I can pull up here. But for those of us from Lux Division, we miss you, Lennit, and you are a great help to our base team, great attacker too, and great guy, so yeah, we miss you. But he's gone, he still keeps in touch. And diving right into the replays, we have none other than MDG4 and what do you know, coming in with the air, so. Gobo Baby Drags. Notice the 80 placement, that weird hut, and then Queen all the way down there. So this is going to be pretty interesting. He's opting not to wall break in, but... Take a moment and just look at the wall structure. That's really weird. I feel like a 9 could have dipped on this. Not dipped, but taken this out by taking advantage of the 80 placement and the wall structure. So, no wall breakers, just jumps in. He's already got two baby dragons on each side, which was a little hasty. We'll let, the, we'll let this slide. A few bullies do walk, as well as queen, so... Always make sure to set the entire funnel, like the entire side to funnel for bowlers because like Snip says, each one of them is a queen and when you have five queens it's a miracle if they all go in. So that dragon finally goes down to that poison. Not sure if these two 80s will go down. Looks like this one could go down to that rage bowler. Oh wow, that clutch bowler bounce gets that 80. And baby dragons all over the bla base, collapsing in on the queen. Got that one witch in there, although I'm not sure what the witch did in terms of value for the kill squad. So dragons are collapsing on the queen. Queen is sniping them down. Finally gets her taken care of. Still got baby dragons flying all over the place. That one. One up there finally beats those stupid air skellies. But then gets ripped to SAM. Queen, of course, lands on a giant bomb. Bowler finishes up the last building. That'll wrap up our first Gobo Baby Drag, which was pretty entertaining to watch. Next up, we have War Machine. Coming in with a Gobo Laloon, if I'm not mistaken. This base is a year old, if not more. This is... Notice the centralized queen, lack of expo islands, and how easily bowlers can just jump through here and tear up, tear up in the core, which is exactly what War Machine's going to do. I think this was pre-Valk era too, so yeah, it's gonna be a Tesla right there in between those two. Not sure where the rest are, but there's definitely one there. Yep, there it is. Like I said, this is an internet base, and while it is a good internet base, internet bases that are a year old tend not to do very well against new attack strategies like bowlers. does miss the queen with the poison, but that's fine. Everything's headed to kill her anyways. Love that he set a huge funnel for the bowlers so that all, all of them walk in, so that was pretty good. Bowler bounce snags that archer tower as we move into the core. Doesn't have any more spells, but he doesn't need any more, as they already grabbed three air defenses. Could have been a little better on his hound placement, instead dragging his hound over here to tank for these. That's fine. Kill squad might actually deal with those. He 
pasted looms perfectly. Take out all those buildings that are kind of worrying. Still got one half health pound. Plenty of looms up. Cleanup's already started. Just got that pesky cannon up there. It's always not fun to end on the wizard power. Especially when you have a hound that's not doing anything. With tanking eyes. Loons eat two CPM lines, which is no big deal. And they collapse on the most threatening defense to, to loons, which of course is the deadly cannon. Level 11 cannon, level 10 cannon, if for any of you guys who have watched Clash of Rama, almost took down that giant. He's got both heroes up, a golem up. Uh, hound up, loons up. Pups up, Queen and Wiz, so really great attack. I would go so far as to say he overkilled the base. So, moving on to more, we have Will coming in with another Gobolalo. Notice the AD placement, which is really compact. I f don't think he needed two jumps unless he plans to jump both of these layers. Yeah, he probably is going to jump that without any wall breakers. So, really slow entry, only thing firing is, Queen isn't even firing, it's just that one archer tower. And, so that's a big w f wide funnel for the bowler, so again, they all go in. And they are pulled by Queen, I think. Enemy Queen. So everything goes in, poison nicely on the CC, which is a mix of air and a baby dragon, which doesn't make sense. When you have a baby dragon, you don't want other air. A uh, jump was... Interesting. I'm not sure how he's going to get that air defense. Maybe he doesn't want it taken out. Could have went with a bigger kill squad and taken out all four and then just used loons on the rest. But he opts to take out three air defenses instead, which is completely fine. Bullers don't quite get that last air defense, which is standing at critical. Two loons on each. Uh, air defense, looks pretty typical. First hound pops, that's not good. He should have sent the other one in by now. But that's okay. Second hound managed to make it onto the air defense. He's still got seven looms in the bag to deal with these back end air defenses. Hound is moving in. It does pop, and that actually takes out the air defense, so good thing the bowlers hit, hit it a few times. Still has three loons up and clean up troops. This one's practically a wrap. As everything closes on that last archer tower. Queen's banging on a wall because that's her favorite thing to do besides go around the base and get blown up by giant bombs. Just as she's at critical. I'll fast forward to clean up just a little. King is still alive. King might be, yeah, King, King clutches through this raid, which is pretty interesting. But the rest of the base goes down. Next up we have Thunder God coming in with yet another Gobo Laloon, so that seems to be the theme. Golems and bowlers as a kill squad in the air. Kind of weird golem pathing here. One goes for the Queen, one goes for the Mortar. Mortar goes down, so they both start going to the Queen compartment. Uh, didn't really like the lack of test wall breakers, but there was no gap between those buildings, so he gets away with it. Again, what's... didn't quite set a perfect funnel for the bowlers, so they will stray, and they're not pulled in by air CC units. So a few will walk, that's fine. Wow, bowler bounce actually gets a Tesla and the AD, so... Bowler's really on point. And Kill Squad easily gets three air defenses. Queenie, of course, hits a giant bomb. Misses the ability, but that's fine. It's already started, started with the La Loon portion. Bowler's still up. Haste in Loons to that air defense, perfect. 
it's weird because for three air defenses you need four hounds, give or take. But for one eighty, you only usually need one hound. But sometimes you need two. It depends. Anyways, moving on. The hound might get nope, still at half health. So it was at full health. He starts dropping camp. He still has six loons. So he already overkilled the base. His Hound is still almost full health. He still got bowlers up because they strayed. Hound's about to pop, but he still has six loons, only one extra car left. So he's just gonna swag those loons, I hope. Because actually deploying them on the battlefield would just be a huge waste of elixir, wouldn't it? Still got a poison left. Hope he swags that too. And we have two more raids after this, so stay tuned for the last raid. You guys will really enjoy it. Yep. Flex is on the CC. And do we see a bloom parade? No, we do not. Okay. Well, great swag anyways. Six loons in a... Gobo La Loon used, which is pretty interesting. Next up, we have number 24 getting taken out by Ahong Gabriel with yet another Gobo La Loon. So this seems to be the recurring theme, but... I mean, look at these air defense, just begging to be air, air attacked. Not sure if he wanted to connect that wall there. I think I would have to get the queen, but... Again, sets a nice wide funnel. Oh! Oh no, he does have bullets. Okay. Just wanted to make sure they wouldn't walk. So notice how he cl clean cleaned out a whole side so that bowlers, none of the bowlers do walk. That's always really important. And yet one still does because bowlers are geniuses. Oh, Queen nicely steps into that compartment, so he's going to get shot down by friendly Queenie. Right about now. So I turn the Laloon portion. Again, you really don't need two hounds for like that many uh, defenses. As you can see, the one that's at low health still has not popped and Loon's already on it. So you still got a full size hound in there, even if you can't see it. He does have some of the base left to go. Not sure if he's going to get that hut. Sends in some surgical loons up a bit early. I think I would have waited a little for those loons to come in and support. That's fine. That loon get the drop? Yep. And Puzzle's stuck on that hound, so everything's going to go smoothly from here. We're going to fast forward to cleanup. And wow, those air bombs rip like 12 loons there because they all got splashed to wizard power. And they hit two air bombs near Queen Island. Oh, but anyone put air bombs near Queen Island? And they do. Then took out that last hut in time. And last attack. Who boy? Are you guys ready? Damn. That's a Town Hall 6, guys. So. Again, what's it with the air plus baby dragon CC comps? Anyways, Rumble Mint is going to show us how to deal with a clan caster. You want to pull it out, and you want to kill it, instead of spamming like 20 giants and watching them all die. He's going to surround the base with witches. Oh, wow. When the point defense... <laughs> point defense isn't even one-shotting the skeleton. That's great. Baby Dragon is clutching through this raid. Already got the heroes working cleanup. That witch has been alive since the beginning of the raid and just now died. Baby Dragon MVP gets that uh, town hall taken care of. Okay, I swear to God, swag everything right now. Do it. Dump everything. Is he gonna do it? Nah. Anyways. Beautiful attack to Rumplemints. Sorry that you had to dip on the Tunnel 6, but wasn't much of a choice there. And I will be coming out with a new video really soon. 
about this war. We got some nice designs going, and we're ready to take on Mini WHF. So, shout out to Powerbang, even though he's not taking part of this. And that will do it for today. Thanks for watching.